Welcome to the Revolution 11 video series, setting up a cloud account and looking up a smart thing. Part 3, Setting Up a Developer Account Hi, this is Jim from Revolution 11. I'll be leading you through this video series. Let's get going. So far in this series, we've set up a root access account. And we've configured the AWS IoT button, starting with the built-in email Lambda function. In this video, we're going to set up a developer account and make sure it has everything we need to begin working with and customizing the AWS IoT button. We'll start by logging back into the root user account at the AWS console. Enter the email address you used to sign up for the root user account here. Enter the password and click on sign in. Once you're on the management console homepage, click on IAM. The IAM console is where we set up all things access related for users of the AWS. We're going to start by creating a group for our developers. Click on Groups in the menu bar to the left. Click on the Create New Group button in the top left. Type in the name of the group in the Group Name field and press the Next Step button. Next, you will be asked to attach a policy to this group. Pick the policy or policies of the buttons that you added as the root user and press the Next Step button. Review the policies and then press the Create Group button. So we're back on the group's homepage. Click on the group you just created. We're going to add a few more policies so our developer can work with buttons and lambdas going forward. On the next screen, press the Attach Policy button. From the pop-up screen, select and attach the policies you see here. I have put them in the description below the video. You can also pause here until you can find them all. Once you have found and selected all of the policies, Click on the Attach Policy button in the lower right-hand corner to add them all to the developer group. OK, we're back at the group homepage. Next, we're going to add a user for this group. Click on the Users link in the menu bar to the left. On the User homepage, click on the Add User button in the upper left. On the user setup screen, give the user a name. We are going to click on both the programmatic access and the AWS Management Council checkboxes. We're going to go ahead and go with the password defaults. AWS will auto-generate a one-time password that the user will update with their own. Press the Next Permissions button in the lower left to continue. On this screen, we're going to add this user to the group we just created. Select the checkbox next to the developers group and press the Next Tags button in the lower right of the screen. On the tag screen, we can add up to 50 pairs of keys and values to help us identify and organize users. Right now, we're just going to add the key of email and the value of email address for this user. Press the Next Review button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Next up is the Review screen. 
This has all of the details for this account. Review them and then press the Create User button in the lower right-hand portion of the screen. Congratulations! You've successfully set up a developer account. You can download this user's credentials by pressing the Download CSV button, or you can click on the Show link next to the Password field. You'll have to make note of the password as you will have to give this to a developer, and after you've left this screen, you will no longer have access to it. Click on the Send Email button to send an email inviting the user to your AWS instance. Next time on setting up a cloud account and hooking up a smart thing. Part 4 Customizing the AWS IoT Button. Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.